yarn of these. The weekend, the Thanksgiving weekend is over. And now I can get back to videoing. I feel like it's been so long since I've videoed and the stuff I have to talk about now seems like it was like way on the other side of the week. So, <clears throat> oh well. Odie again is in fine form today. He's apparently very tired. Yes. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> So sorry about that. I know you guys all love it. Drives me crazy, but whatever. <coughs> Holy cow. <clears throat> so today, sorry, I'm cleaning off my glasses so I can see what I'm going to be talking about. Um, so before I get into all of that, yay, Seta made it to Alaska. I am so happy for her and I cried a lot of tears of joy. Um, and relief <laughs> that she got there safely and she got to meet um, <clears throat> excuse me she got to do a meet up up there and uh, yeah so who so now she can get on to the rest of her adventure which is going to be pretty amazing too I'm sure uh, oh and the TV's on. Just turned on. Because George forgot to turn it off. <laughs> um, so anyway. Um, what else? I, I was planning on just diving right into everything I had to say. And then I got a phone call. Uh, it was from my doctor. My regular GP. And he apparently got my blood work that was going to go to my surgeon. Didn't know that it was going to go to my doctor. And he wants to talk to me. Don't know about what. I'm going to try really hard not to panic. I have a feeling I might know. But uh, I guess we'll find out. So... Jeez, booty. <clears throat> so, uh, depending on what's on that blood test is dependent as to whether or not I'm going to get surgery. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, let's hope all is, is well. Because uh, he tends to bring you in for nothing as well. So he just likes to get that little bit of money, right? For the visit. But that's okay because I want to talk to him too. I've got a few issues that I would like to talk to him. One of which is my finger and you know trying to figure out why like why I, it hurts so bad um, after it cracked like I don't know not that if it's broken or if it's cracked or whatever it's not a whole lot he can do about it now because it's been like three weeks. So <clears throat> anyway so Oh, oh my goodness, I can see. <laughs> okay, now this is like old news, but Dana did a live last week. And oh, again, with the chicken diapers. You know, it's like, <laughs> I was sitting there going, still saying, it's a chicken. Like seriously, like, oh. I understand in some parts of the world, a chicken may be considered a pet. Not so much here. You know, we eat chicken. You know, I mean, it's an animal. I get it. I love all animals. I don't want to kill them, right? Like, I, I can't kill anything other than spiders. But, um, and wasps and mosquitoes and stuff. But, um... They were talking about uh, putting sweaters on the chickens so they don't get cold and <clears throat> putting the diapers on them so they can bring them into the house and um, so that they can cuddle with them on the couch. Uh, you cuddle. 
cuddle with your cat and your dog. You don't cuddle with the chicken. You know, like maybe somewhere in the world they do, but oh man, oh man. I guess I can't really say much because in certain Asian parts of the world they eat dog and cat and it drives me bananas. I just, I can't, I can't even go into that. I'm writing a novel about something like that and it just, it's taking a long time to write because it's a very hard book to stomach. <clears throat> but um, yeah, so I guess, I digress, I guess if you want to have a pet chicken. Go ahead. Just not in my house. <laughs> Just have you smelled chicken poop? Like, oh my god, every time I go past one of those chicken um places that carry chickens and oh the stink is like makes you swear off chicken for a while, I'll tell you that much. <clears throat> Anyway, moving on. <sighs> okay. Uh, Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet. Oh, wow. She got some very gorgeous, gorgeous yarn from Mary's Crochet Chit Chat called Amori. Or, 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 no. R. R. Mori. A. R. M. O. N. I. I believe I need that yarn like if it's not wool oh my god it is gorgeous gorgeous um, go I'll leave her link down below go check out that yarn people holy man oh I my jaw was on the ground I was just like wow the other yarn she got was really nice too, but that yarn, ah. You see that flashy? That's from the TV. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta turn that off. Okay, sorry about that. So that yarn was just absolutely out of this world, beautiful. So yeah, so if anybody knows where I can get it, let me know please, because I tried to do a search on it and I can't find it. So, um, oh, I found a new channel, well, not a new channel, it's a new to me channel. She's got 15,000 subscribers, so she's not new. Um, it's called Rich Textures Crochet. I'll leave that link down below. What? She has some gorgeous stuff. Just saying. Um, I haven't watched all of her videos yet. But there's a hat there, oh man. It's called Fall, uh, the Fall Leaves Slouchy Hat. The, the colors are just, I don't know why she called it Fall Leaves because it's got blues and reds in it and stuff, not yellows and oranges and reds. But anyway, beautiful, beautiful hat. I need to make it, just saying. Um, another thing. Has anybody heard from Carrie from down the yarning or down the rabbit hole? Carrie down the rabbit hole. I haven't heard from her. She hasn't done a video. I'm a little concerned. I'm hoping she's okay. Cause the last time that we spoke was that whole crap with the name and everything and I know she wasn't going to do a video until November December ish but um I'm really hoping she's okay you know because that was a bad scene so if anybody's heard from her let me know okay and Carrie if you're watching you know shoot me an email let me know you're okay 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 yeah <laughs> You know what I mean. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, oh. I don't have my finished object here. I have been doing a few things. I have been 
writing down the patterns for these um, new hats and stuff that I am doing so that hopefully hopefully this Saturday this weekend I think my room might be getting painted I think if that's the case by next week if all the planets align and stuff I will be in that room videoing and doing tutorials so yeah let's let's hope for that so uh <clears throat> hang on I'll get those things and then I can show them to you so basically I've been ignoring the fact that my hands hurt and I just kept crocheting so <laughs> as we probably all do good lord Odie <sighs> okay, so here's the first one. Oh. And it's kind of hard to see the snow. There we go. So, yeah, I just threw this one together. Again, it was supposed to be slouchy, but it it wanted to be a beanie. So, maybe so slow cheese are not something I'm going to be doing this year. <laughs> Having said that, this one is a slow cheese. Okay, and that's just a granny, granny stitch. So that one's, well, I might do a tutorial, I don't know. This one I did from the bottom up. Ooh, hate doing that. But um, it's, it's okay. I wanted to put a pom-pom on it and then I forgot that I cinched this up pretty good. Couldn't get a pom-pom on it. Because I'm not used to doing these kind of hats, so I forgot that you got to leave a little bit of a hole up here. Because when I do my hats, I cinch that sucker up really good. And I forgot that, you know, you need to put a little hole in there. So, oh. hmm. So anyway. Um, yeah. Having said that, I might be able to get a pom-pom in there now. Hmm. Anyways, I'll work on that. So, I did that one. And this was, oh, this was the, um, Ice Rainbow, uh, yarn. The brand, is, the brand is called Rainbow. It's the brown with gray and a little bit of blue. Like, no, it was brown with gray. Yeah. So <clears throat> there's that. I'll put the link for that yarn down below too. And then I did this one, this cowl. This is the yarn that I got when I was with Seta. Um, oh no, I can't remember the name of the yarn, but if you, if you watch the, um, the video of me meeting Seta, it's in there. Um, I got it at the Chilliwack craft and yarn, or craft, yeah, craft and yarn, um, shop and they do deliver. So, and that's the open back, that's the, um, the bag of day pattern. So, I did that one. I'm not going to put a fringe on it. This one, oops. Okay, this. Oop, there we go. I did this one. <coughs> Beautiful color, and again, the bag of day. I think that's the only kind of cowl I'm ever going to make. So, uh, this, I'm not going to put the tassels on this one either. And I'm making a hat to go with it. And, and this is going to be a pattern, a written pattern as well. And I will be... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
do um, some tutorials and then have the written pattern to, to purchase as well. So, so that's that one. And this yarn is the um, Yarn B. Where's the tag? It's the yarn that Lisa sent me. I can't remember the name of it, but it's by Yarn B. I'll put that right here. Okay. <clears throat> um, next, I have to go to the post office today because I have all of this to send. <laughs> so, huh, yeah. And one one of which is including the the letter to Cheryl or the card to Cheryl. Uh, Cause as we all know, Cheryl's grandma passed away. Um, so I'm sending her a thinking of you card. So anyway, um, also I, I'm not gonna do a happy mail video on this cause it's just the one thing. But guess what I got? This is from Billy, the Crafty Floridian. Hopefully my sister's not watching this video because this is her Christmas present. Just saying. I contacted Billy a while ago. And I asked her if she could make a bag for me for my sister. And she's, you know, rushing to get everything done before her surgery. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Billy, for doing this for me. says, Sandy, want you, want you to try one of my, my bull coats. Oh, one of my bull cozies. Thank you, Hugs Billy. No. She sent me one of her cozies. Wow, look at the flamingos. Oh, oh, <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Oh, I love it, Billy. Thank you. Oh, I'm keeping this one for myself. And George doesn't get one. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, yay. Oh, look at this bag. Oh, this is amazing. It's the cat in the library bag. I mean, look at this. How gorgeous is this? I hope I'm in focus. I can't see. <laughs> oh, and it's got... I asked her if she could put the wood toggles on or the wood buttons on because my sister is a fanatic over wood like wood watches wood earrings wood 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 she loves it so oh and then she's got the yellow on the inside the bright yellow on the inside oh it's gorgeous I just love it oh my sister's gonna love it too let me just Cinch it up. Oh, that is the coolest. I got a Billy bag. Oh, mom. Okay, I didn't. My sister got a Billy bag. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh, my sister. The reason why I asked for this is because A, my sister loves cats, and B, she's an avid reader. She, the, her dream is to have a house where she has one room as her whole library. 
right? Like that, that is a, a big dream of hers. Plus she's a writer as well. She's the one that got me into doing writing. So yeah. So this is just, oh, I just, I, how could you not love this? I mean, look at these guys. Like how cute are they? I mean, oh, just love it. Just love it. Love it. Oh, look at this little guy peeking in behind. <laughs> oh, they're so adorable. Oh, thank you so much, Billy. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, that just, oh, that just made my day. Um, so that's going to go to my sister for Christmas. Yay. I'm starting my Christmas shopping already. Oh, good Lord. Can we just get Halloween over first? Like, ugh. So, anywho. Um, what else? Oh! Hang on, let me take a drink. It's my ice brew coffee, uh, ice brew tea. Um, I got an email today. Okay, let me start up. Back up. Uh, last night I couldn't sleep. I was restless and I was tossing and turning. I went to bed at like 1.30 and I still couldn't sleep. Um, I ended up having to take a melatonin because I was just like, like you can tell, like my eyes are red, my skin's blotchy. I did not sleep well. And, uh, and then when I did fall asleep, I had a dream I had a dream that I flew to Ontario. George and I flew to Ontario. And we went and saw, went to visit um, Lisa from Lisa's Crochet. And we went to karaoke and we had a great time. And then um, all of a sudden I started getting email messages saying, hey, I'm in Ontario and I'm in Ontario and I'm in Ontario. So every, all all the all the YouTubers that were in Ontario came flooding over to where I was to meet me, and uh, <clears throat> I got a message this morning saying that Isla from Brown Owls Crochet is coming to Nanaimo. What? I lost it. I was, <laughs> I was like, what, are you kidding me? And she's like, well, we're going to Victoria between the 22nd and the 26th. And we were thinking about coming up to Nanaimo. And so if you want to meet at a coffee shop or something, you know, do you want to do that? I was like, hells to the yeah. Like, are you serious? Of course I want to meet you. Like, that would just be amazing. That's, oh, I, I'm just so thrilled. So thrilled. I mean, I would have gone down to Victoria to meet her. You know, she doesn't have to drive all the way to Nanaimo, but I don't know if she has stuff to do here or what, but, you know, um, I was just, I'm, I'm absolutely over the moon thrilled. I get to meet two of you in the same month. Really? Like, how awesome is that? Like, that just doesn't happen, right? <laughs> so, I am, I can't wait. I'm going to be just jumping giddy uh, for the rest of the month until she gets here. So, <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, so, yay me! <laughs> So I'm going to see if uh, maybe a couple of my friends who also watch her channel will like to come see her too, maybe. <laughs> so anyway, um, so this Saturday is my first craft fair of the season. I uh, usually I have like seven craft fairs all lined up. I have like one every weekend for the next, you know, for November, December kind of thing. This year I didn't do that, which is really bizarre. Um, I think I've only got three or four craft fairs lined up. 
uh, two of which are two day craft fairs, but yeah, it's weird. I think it's because I didn't know when I was getting my surgery done. Oh, sorry, that's a seaplane. Um, yeah, so I don't know when my surgery is going to be, and so I didn't want to jam myself up with craft fairs, I guess, just in case. So, yeah. Um, so anyways, uh, I will videotape all of that. And, uh, yeah. So, <clears throat> um, anyway, I think that's all I got for you today. I think. Pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, so anyways, I will talk to you guys probably tomorrow or the next day or whatever. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, if I go to the mailbox and I find that I've got more happy mail, then I'll do another video. But anyway, okay. So I will chat with you guys later. Okay. Mwah. Love ya.